This video will demonstrate how to use self-leveling underlayment, also referred to as SLU. This project is about 250 square feet and will be done by two people utilizing Laticrete NXT level and NXT primer. The substrate is porous concrete that has already been cleaned. 3 8 notch and half inch notch trowel marks are still on the floor in small part but do not prevent us from going directly over them. This thin set is well bonded and does not exceed 1 8 of an inch. To check the substrate tolerance for flatness we are using a laser. A 10 foot straight edge can also be used to determine flatness. Using the horizontal laser we can measure from the laser line to the subfloor in multiple areas around the project. Knowing the floor's inconsistencies can help determine how much material to purchase. Our floor is showing an overall deviation of 3 eighths of an inch. We will set our gauge rake to 1 quarter of an inch. At a quarter of an inch we will get 22 square feet per bag or 44 square feet per batch which will consist of two bags. A self-leveling laser is highly recommended. The next level primer must be shaken or mixed prior to use. For our substrate the NXT calls for the primer to be diluted. When dilution is called for on the label do not override this direction. Undiluted primer is much more difficult to apply and is extremely wasteful. The primer not only works to improve the bond strength, more importantly increases the workable time for the SLU on the substrate. Without primer the SLU will lock up or have a significant resistance to flow. You can use a push broom or hand broom to apply the primer. The primer will not damage the broom. Primer residue is easily removed with water. Brush the primer onto the substrate ensuring complete coverage. After a section has been applied, follow up with a clean pull removing puddles or excess primer. You should be left with a thin, even coat of primer. Let the primer sit for three hours or return the following day. When the primer is dry it will be clear and will be somewhat difficult to even see that it's there. Install a foam sill seal or backer rod around the perimeter of the room. This is to provide an expansion joint and can help contain some of the loss of material. With an SLU installation, the day is won or lost in preparation. There needs to be a good mixing area and all of the product and water must be in place prior to the application. Begin by filling 5 gallon buckets with the quantity of water needed for each batch. A batch can consist of 2 bags of product with 9 quarts of water or 3 bags of product and 13 quarts of water. You could even mix a single bag with 4.5 quarts of water, but you will be mixing much more frequently. One bag at a time may be more appropriate for areas less than 100 square feet. You can see here we have prepared five and a half batches, five five gallon buckets and one mixing container with cool clean water. You do not have spare time when working with self levelers. Have your water measured and ready before you begin installation. We will have 11 bags to mix. Place all of the bags standing up and cut them open. Any delay in mixing will make it harder to tie the batches into one another during product placement. We are mixing batches in the craft tool mixing barrel. It can easily hold two bags or three bags of product. We are going with two bags which is 45 square feet of coverage each batch. While he is mixing, let's take a look at the tools we will be using. The first tool used is gauge rake. This rake is more like a sled with two adjustable skis. Our skis are adjusted to one quarter of an inch. When using the rake it must be pushed or pulled parallel to the floor. If you tip the rake forward or backward too much you will remove material as opposed to placing it. The rake is followed by the tensioner, sometimes referred to as a smoother. When used, surface tension of the batch is broken where it might otherwise make a lump or ridge. It is only used in a pulling direction and is not to be used upside down as you can see here. The last tool is the squeegee or plastic smoother. It does the same thing as the tensioner but its flexibility allows it to have more subtlety in correcting flatness. Placement of the first batch is usually on the floor's highest spot. Unless you're correcting less than a quarter of an inch, it won't make much difference where you start. As soon as the SLU is down, it's time to start raking. And while raking, the next mix must begin. It is imperative that each batch tie into the previous one. Trying to tie a wet batch in with a dry batch will not work. 
It will take about 3 to 4 minutes to complete the placement of a batch. At the same time, a mix will take the same. After raking the material evenly as far as it will go, use the tensioner to eliminate any ridges or hills. Use the tensioner over the entire amount of the SLU just placed. Follow it up with the plastic smoother. Place the next batch near the previous one but not on top of it. Completely tie in the two batches with the rake. If you are moving at a proper pace, matching placement and mixing time, the tie-in is easy. As you can see, there is no problem stepping into the batch, whether spiked shoes or mud boots, but be careful as the SLU is slippery. It's a good idea to use all of the tools in various directions. You can use them parallel to the walls or diagonal, but the most important area to watch is at the batch tie-ins. Do not make the rake move too fast. It can trap air in your batch, leading to air holes when the mix is dry. So the main points to remember is to make sure the substrate is clean. Check the floor with a laser or a straight edge to see how bad it is. Apply the primer in a thin, even layer and allow it to dry a minimum of three hours. Install sill seal or backer rod to preserve a perimeter joint. Stage a proper mixing area. Have all the materials and water ready to go. Keep the pace consistent between the person mixing and the person raking. And pay close attention to where the batches tie in while raking and smoothing. This room from the time of the first mix to the final placement took about 40 minutes. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already, please look into the National Tile Contractors Association. Thank you again.